later, Sam. Okay? We'll be back later. You gotta sit this one out, girl. I don't think you'd have fun walking through the snow. You stay here in your warm, comfy chair, okay? I'll be right back. Good girl. You'll be a good girl. <laughs> Good morning everybody. Um, today we are going on a little bit of a different adventure. We're not camping this time, but we are going up to Mount Hood for the day. Um, we haven't really explored Mount Hood very much. I guess just because it's always it's kind of crowded and touristy, so we like to go to areas that are a little more remote. But since it's so close to home, we are going to go up there for the day and do some snowshoeing and then explore some of the off-road trails and see if we can maybe find some places that'll be good for camping in the future. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done, all the good times just begun. Like what you see? Give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest adventures. Mount Hood is located about 75 miles east of Portland. It is a dormant volcano surrounded by a huge national forest. It stands at 11,239 feet and is the largest mountain in Oregon. It's the perfect destination for a variety of snow sports, such as skiing, snowboarding, snowshoeing, and sledding, as well as hiking, camping, and cooling off in one of its many lakes and creeks in the summer. Mount Hood also has a total of 12 glaciers. We were just saying how crazy it is, the lack of snow that's up here right now. Usually this time of year, this part of Mount Hood is buried in snow. Not only that, but it's 50 degrees outside. It should be way colder than that in February up here. It's kind of sad. It's been a very warm, snowless winter. Um, so we might not be doing any snowshoeing, but well, we'll still go on a cool hike. But yeah, it's really sad the lack of snow this place has gotten this year. So since the snow is actually not that deep, we decided not to put our snowshoes on. So we're just gonna hike it in regular shoes. But it'll still be a nice hike. I think it's a five mile loop. So it'll be a good little walk. It is kind of hard walking in snow though. <laughs> Even when it's this shallow, slippery. The beginning of this trail is a pretty steep hill going down, which we're walking on now. Which isn't too hard. We were just saying on the way up might be a bit of a challenge because it's really steep and it is slippery, so that's gonna be fun getting out of here.
Oh, oh. <laughs> I got a good one. You can't get me. Yeah, I can. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, God. Oh, oh. oh no, not the camera. Jason. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. <laughs> good job. Jeez. <laughs> So this is what we were wanting to hike to. This is Trillium Lake, which is frozen right now, of course. And out there it's too cloudy to see, but you can usually see the top of Mount Hood right there. But not today. Some crazy people walked out on the lake and built snowmen. I don't think I'd trust it. <laughs> We're gonna continue around the whole lake. Get some good, I think it's five miles from the parking lot down to the lake and around the lake and back. Trillium Lake was created by the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife in 1960 when a dam at Mud Creek was erected. The area where the lake is now used to be part of the historic Barlow Road, a component of the Oregon Trail. The lake is named for the Trillium flower, which is abundant in this area. The lake is popular for fishing, camping, and photography. This is crazy. <laughs> this bridge is nuts. We're walking on a bridge, but also on top of like, I don't know, three feet of packed snow on top of the bridge. So it's really weird. I feel like I'm gonna fall through. This is really neat. Oh. Yes, yeah, this is so crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, if I fall in like I always do, at least it's not super deep. <laughs> Wasn't this bridge closed last time we were here? I think it was. <laughs> We had to go that way, around. <laughs> I'm back on solid solidish ground. 
I hope that was the last of the the creaky dilapidated bridge. Oh wait, maybe not. There's a cone. Why they put the cone on the bridge? That's okay. <laughs> After you cross it, they're like, oh, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> off but it's hard to tell which way it goes because of the snow there were like three different directions we could have taken the one we just took was the wrong way so let's hope that this is the right way this time <laughs> you know, you the road, so. yeah <laughs> leave it to us to take the wrong route <laughs> you know how we like to Keep the adventure alive. We found our way out <laughs> onto the main road here. And then next we have to climb up out of here. That's gonna be the fun part. It's sleep steep bit steep, steep steep and slippery. <laughs> and we don't have our snowshoes to climb us out, but we don't need no stinking snowshoes. It's too, not deep enough anyway. We're going up the steep part now, back to our car. And it is, it is a workout, I'm sweating. I should have stuck to my rule, which is be bold and start cold. <laughs> Instead I have all these layers, so I started warm and now I'm in more warm than I want to be. Oh well. <laughs> How you doing back there? I'm good, man. <laughs> it's a steep hill. It is. It's a really long hill. Too. It's a long, steep hill. Oh, we did it. We made it to the top. And not sure if we have time to explore any off-road trails. It's getting dark already, or late already, not dark. But we did work up at Appetite, so we may go to Mount Hood Brewing. Get some food to go. Sounds awesome. I checked my little mileage tracker app thingy and we did six miles all, all together so we made it a little more than five probably by getting lost a couple times <laughs> it, was, it was a really good workout and time for lunch is right. so we got it because of covid we're gonna eat in the car have a car picnic and we got it here that. Oh my god, mac and cheese. Favorite. That's a lot of mac and cheese. Yeah. And a Reuben we're gonna share. It's just feels like sharing. And this is to take home. We got a big growler of smoked porter, which is one of our favorite beers here. So if you ever stop at Mount Hood Brewing, 
get the smoke porter. It's good. So, thank you for coming on this short trip with us. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to do our off-roading stuff because it's getting too dark or too late. Um, but the hike was awesome and we've been cooped up in the rain in Portland. So it was nice to just get out and have a nice little six mile hike in the fresh air. Mmm, it's good. Yep. That is ooey gooey. Yes, there's bacon, breadcrumbs, some other stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this sucker. This is huge. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> ha, we were just kidding. We were actually saw a little dirt road on the way off the mountain that last minute decided to drive up it. So if we see anything interesting up here, we'll let you know. here it's a, like a road that hasn't been driven on in a very long time and we just passed by one little area that had a little fire ring set up and oh looks like this might be the end <laughs> <laughs> but it's still a really pretty road not a whole lot as far as campsites go but, oh well it's always fun exploring these little roads and I think this time <laughs> we actually are going home now so thanks again for watching and for coming along and we'll see you again As always, thanks for watching and thanks for your support. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. We'll see you next time.